Build 810. Sky condition clear. Temperature 22. She's a little stout. We're good. Okay. Oh, brakes release. London Corbin traffic, Cessna 734 Mach X ray, taxiing from the ramp to runway 6. London Corbin. And runway 6 is a good ways down there. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to do a, uh, a, I mean, I didn't do a pre-fight briefing with you. Do you want me to do a pre-fight? It's not required. Uh, if you would like to do something just for practice, um, say when your wife has to fly with you, you could uh, treat me like I'm her and so tell me when to be quiet, what to touch, what, or what not, not to touch, that sort of thing. Okay. Any special thing, instructions. All right. So, uh. So, I mean, I would start with showing you how to uh, how to buckle this seatbelt uh -huh. and use okay. the uh, shoulder harness. And uh, once we got that, uh, I would tell you, you know, just like I said, uh, the the cockpit can be a, 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 a sterile. Sometimes it needs to be quiet. Sometimes okay. I need to uh, I need to really concentrate. So if I ask you to uh, to give me a minute or be quiet for a second. I'm not being rude. I'm just uh, telling you I need to concentrate or focus. So, I understand. Um, the uh, flight controls, the the yoke and the the rudder uh, pedals, they are uh, you know you don't want to get in the way of them. Okay. So so don't put my feet. Don't on put the your feet on them. Don't push them. Don't turn them. Okay. Uh, that's how I'm flying the plane. Uh, if there was to be any kind of Let's say we were to have a fire in here. Uh, so we have fire extinguisher right here between between us. Just uh -huh. okay. flip it open, take the uh, fire extinguisher out, uh, use it just like any other fire extinguisher. And uh, if we were to uh, to have to use it in here, it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty nasty in here in a heartbeat. So once we use it, we will uh, want to uh, uh, ventilate. You know, open the windows. So show how to open the windows so that you can uh, uh, get all the uh, get all the the fumes out okay speaking of I'm gonna open mine here for a second uh, then uh, let's say there's an emergency but for some reason we may need to make an emergency landing uh, you'll uh, be right before we land we'll want you to uh, to open the door uh, okay don't be worried it's not gonna fly open uh, but if we were to land hard or something, it could jar the door, and we might not be able to get it open, and that would be a bad situation to be in. So open it that way. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But if it does happen, uh, use the window as an exit. So okay. got it. Uh, outside of that, uh, the biggest thing I think is that if uh, if you see something, let me know. Okay. Uh, other airplanes. Other airplanes like in the sky. Okay. Because uh, sometimes I may not see them and you see them. So uh, point them out whether you think I see them or not. Okay. Nice Absolutely. thorough briefing. Thank you. I'm not using any cross controls because for the most part the wind's right down the runway. Zero. At one zero. Peak gusts two zero. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two two Celsius. Dew point one three Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero five. Remarks. Density altitude two thousand two hundred. London Corbin Airport, McGee Field, London, Kentucky. Automated weather observation one five three one Zulu. Wind zero six zero at one zero peak gusts two zero right down the runway. We're gonna do a run up here. So parking brake is set. Cabin doors, windows locked. I got my door and window closed, locked. 
Hot controls are free. Correct. Oh, sorry. Maybe they're free and correct. That's me. All right. Flight instrument set. Want to power up just a little bit. Uh, get my suction in the green because these work on that vacuum pump. This heading indicator sometimes it likes to be constantly adjusted. Put it that way. I understand. <laughs> not always, uh, not always as accurate as I wished it was. So, put there. Our altimeter set. Our radios are good. We've got the London radio in here. London VOR. Uh, and then, or actually, that's the weather. There's the. That's the London VOR. That's actually the uh, Lex. No, that's the Bowling Green VOR. Okay. Uh, so our standbys has that's already programmed for Somerset, and that's Somerset's weather as well. Got it. We're all good there. On the Corbett traffic, helicopter Kentucky One is eight miles to the north at uh, 2,500 feet inbound for landing left. Okay. So. Uh, Fuel selector valve is on both. I'm going to adjust my seat belt just. And fuel selector's on both. Mixture is full rich. Throttle 1700. And set down on final. Where are you on final two again? Check magnetos. Good copy. Thank you, sir. What we're looking for here is no more than 125 drop and a gap of no more than 50. RP. Good. Amp meter's good, oil pressure's good, temperature's not got up to speed just yet. Fuel is full and suction is good. So uh, our avionics switch is already on, our autopilot is off, our air conditioning is off. Our flashing beacon light on. Uh, don't need the navigation lights. We're going to turn the landing light on just for uh, right at the moment. And throttle lock is good. Brakes release. London Corbin traffic uh, uh, shadow that's on vinyl. How, how far out are you for my x ray? Uh, this is uh, Kentucky One. We are uh, three and a half miles to the north. I'm going to set up for a uh, left down, uh, left base for uh, runway to parallel runway six. Uh, well, I'm I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the runway for departure. Uh, yeah, you're good. No issues. I'll sneak it behind you. Thank you. Uh, London Corbin traffic for Mike X-ray taking uh, runway six for departure. Where he's a helicopter on three miles, he's out there a pretty good ways. Normal takeoff here? Please. Yeah, London Corbin traffic, helicopter Kentucky One's on a one and a half mile left base for the parallel taxiway on May 6, London. Eight. So, flaps up, carb heat in, full power. Nice takeoff. I didn't uh, start my timer here. I should have. I got us off at 11:37. We could do it that way. Either way. I like uh, using this. Okay. Well, I've got the total timer going, and that's a counter. Uh huh. I have the same unit in my airplane, and I've noticed mine is programmed so that it starts it automatically at 60 knots. Oh, really? Uh-huh. London Corbin traffic, Cessna 172 Tango off, a tax runway 6 for departure, London. London Corbin traffic, 4 Mach X-ray, turning left, crosswind, runway 6, London Corbin. And conditions could have well changed, but 
Coming down here, it was silky smooth above about 2,800 feet. Yeah. London Corbin traffic, 4 Mach X-ray, turning left downwind, runway uh, 6, London Corbin. I'm going to start our timer for our first checkpoint. Okay. Uh, right about here. We're going to start our climb in just a second. Our heading is 272. Oh. London Corbin traffic, 4 Mach X ray, uh, departing the pattern to the west. London Corbin. So if everything goes right, as far as the winds, we'll have uh, chestnut knolls off to our right wing in okay. about, uh, about four more minutes. All right. Anybody still flying out of there, or is that the outfit that moved, that Cole moved to the airport? I, I don't think. I don't think anybody's flying out of there anymore. It doesn't look like it. Okay. But I'm not. Uh, not 100% sure. Airplane is 2 Tango Trees inbound. Uh, I'll call left now, went for runway 3. 3. Uh, for uh, all the green, thank you. Okay, Tango Trees is inbound. Uh, Tango Trees is inbound. Uh, Tango and generally speaking, uh, if I, you know, generally speaking, if I was doing a cross country, I would, uh, I would have filed a flight plan, okay. uh, we, and I also would have requested flight following. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that flight following, too. I, I'll tell you the big reason why I like it is uh, because uh, I get to learn while I listen to everybody. That's true. That's true. So it's, kind of get more familiar with the system. Yeah. And especially if you're going to east out of here, over all the hills, it's you got instant contact with somebody if something should yeah. happen. We got chestnut nose off to our right over there. I always had trouble finding that. It's I know it's in a clearing up on top of a little ridge. Uh, hold on. I see the drag strip over there to the right. Yeah. And that drag strip's not marked on here. Huh. That, that would it's be a good here. landmark. Oh, yeah, and it's been here long enough that you would think they would have uh, would have marked it by yeah. now. But yeah, that's uh, Chestnut Knoll's actually directly off to our right over there. We're moving a little fast already. Okay. So we're going to start. We're about... We're about Eh, yeah, not really fast. We're about 30 seconds fast. Russell County, Citation 9 to 1, Alpha Papa, on the left base, runway. I figured I had about a 30 knot headwind coming down here. Really? Yep. And that's at, uh, a little lower than this. Even. We're coming up on our 4,500 here. gotten off a little bit. Recessed, uh-huh. Light of Corbin traffic, Medivac, Kentucky, one's on the go. Parallel runway six straight up. Oh. Our rock quarry is way off to the right over there. 
I see it right uh, still in the hills here before that little clearing just to the left of it. The white thing. What's that now? The rock quarry. The rock quarry is uh, right kind of straight uh -huh. in the mountains there. Yep. And I'll tell you what, it may be a lot uh, stronger winds than what I forecasted too because we are uh, making better time than what you caught. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And the way I judge my checkpoints, uh, you know, I like to I like to try to spot them out there ahead of me. Uh huh. Uh, but I actually don't uh, I don't count my time until it's pretty much you know parallel off my wing. Right. Mess you up otherwise. Try not to get ahead of yourself. In yeah. Way. Yeah. Well, when you get a chance, give me an estimate for your first. Um, what was your first point? Was it Somerset Airport? Somerset Airport. Okay. No rush on it, but when you get a chance, give me an estimate for that. And I've got a feeling we can just call it done from there, because yeah, I, I think you know exactly where you are yeah. so far. Well, we're we're going to be about uh, three minutes on that, and I said four and a half. I okay. thought we would be going 120. If I was going to guess, the next one would be five minutes. I mean, we're probably going, I mean, we're definitely going faster. We're probably going 140, yeah, 135. Okay. Because it's not that fast. So I've got 46 now. And uh, so in 10 miles, I would think that we would cover that. I reset it right about now. I think we would cover that in about uh, four minutes. Okay. Let's see how it works out. Does that just stop it or you need to oh, push I, another button? I actually thought I did. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Traffic says 1172 Tango off with this off from 6. You're making a left turn departing the pattern to the west. Departing the pattern to the west. Uh, uh, London Corbin traffic for Mike X ray uh, is about uh, 10 miles uh, west of London. Or London Corbin. Traffic, Russell County traffic, King Air, November 76, Niner Delta's. 15 miles southwest and be tracking inbound, landing to the north. So we have the airport. X-ray, what's your altitude? Uh, four mock X-ray is at 4,500. Roger that, thank you. Oh, well, we've got uh, the London Corbin Airport uh, just barely off our nose there. Okay. I mean, Somerset Airport yeah, barely off I our got nose. You. Just uh, maybe like 12:30, something uh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Well, we'll see how your time works out. I think it's going to be real close. We'll call that done, then we'll start with uh, the hood work. Air conditioner's working good. Hey, it feels great. great. Day. It feels great. <laughs> Alpha, that's uh, John Martin's plane. Oh, okay. It's a 172 also? Yeah. It doesn't sound like him talking, though. No, that uh, is, uh, I can't think of his name. He's a chiropractor here in town uh, that flies his plane quite a bit. John still go down to Florida a lot? You know, I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, generally, you know, I'm not really... Uh, I potentially should put, with him coming this way, I'm tired. Uh, traffic, Russell County traffic, King Air, November 76, Nine Dallas, 10 miles southwest, be trucking inbound, runway 3 miles. Okay. Uh, generally, if I was making this cross country, I would probably have already flipped to theirs. And I'm actually thinking about uh, putting it on the other. Okay. Other frequency. Uh, now I'm talking oh, about summer set. Oh, to the just, there for traffic. Uh, That's a good technique. So I hate to switch up all my radios, but uh, I feel like I should. Well, I'm safe to not. You've already got it preset one. there, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do. Was his technique? Let's the town cozy Ford Echo Victor final five full stop. Let's the Oh, we're at three minutes and fifteen seconds. I mean, yeah. we would be real close. Let's to that. call that done. Whenever you're ready to do this torture stuff, I'll clean them up for you a little bit, and then I'll take the flight controls while you get them adjusted. There 
are. Uh, and I got the flight controls. You got the plane. I got the flight controls. I'm on to put these back here. Alright. I've got the flight controls. Yeah. Flight controls. I'm gonna call you by your end number. Okay. Uh, your challenge is gonna be not don't push the little red button to push to talk, because that's what you're used to. Okay. We're just talking amongst ourselves and okay. on the radio. So Cessna 4 Mike X ray, turn right heading to 310. Do you want me to respond to that? Please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 4 Mike X ray, turn right to heading 310. And that's just for practice. Okay. Four Mike X ray, climb to and maintain 4,800. Uh, 4 Mark X ray, climb to maintain 4,800. X, turn right heading 330. Four Mike X ray, turn right heading 330. Danville, Pope, Powell, uh, 41052, we're 12 miles to the west landing. Runway 1. I'll make it just a little bit more difficult for you. I'm going to give you a altitude change and a heading change, and they'll come at about the same time. That way, uh, I mean, it'll all come together about the same time. That way I kind of check your instrument scan. So, four Mike X-ray, turn right hitting 010. Four Mike X-ray, turn right hitting 310. Uh, negative uh, heading as 010. Zero, I'm sorry. Uh, four Mike X-ray, turning turn right heading 010. And four Mike X-ray, climb to and maintain 5000. Four Mike X-ray, climb to and maintain 5000. Okay, nice job with that. You got a good scan already. Four Mike X ray, turn left heading at 300. Four Mike X ray, turn left heading 300. Four Mike X ray, climb to and maintain 5,400. Four Mike X ray, Climb to and maintain 5,400. See if I can get you some smooth air before we start with unusual attitudes. Just about ready for it. Four mic X ray, turn left heading at 280. Four mic X ray, turn left heading 280. Once you get established on that 280 heading, and you got her all trimmed up, your power set, and everything the way you want it, we'll just do two of these unusual attitude recoveries. But don't let me rush oh. you. Don't rush yourself into anything. Take your time. Uh, it's bounced up a little there. Do you want me to stay uh, at 5,400? Yeah, let's go to 5,400. What my thinking is there, if somebody's VFR cruising at 55, we might miss them. Because uh, we're not going to be level for long. That's got us pretty good. Okay. Then uh, I've got the flight controls. All right, your flight controls. My flight controls. If you don't mind, uh, just put your head down, but put it. Lean your head over to one shoulder, either left or right, and close your eyes. And I'll put you in an unusual attitude, and I'll say, "You got it." When I say that, you just look up and just go back to straight and level flight. You don't have to go to any certain heading or altitude. Okay. The reason I have you put your head on your shoulder is that. Um, it keeps you from being able to use your inner ear, the fluid in your inner ears. Yeah. Uh, that way, you actually have to. It forces you to use the instruments and not your body sensations. So I'm just kind of rocking that fluid around a little bit here now. Okay, you got it. Oh, perfect response. Just level at this altitude and head. We'll do one more. Hey, 
think we're good. Uh, okay, I got flight controls. Your, your controls. One last time. You got it. 7 on 7, five, five, seven eight, nine, Fox Broad. Excellent. Miles, Good down, job. Down. This heading, this altitude, once you get things the way you want them, take your foggles off. I forgot we had that dash cam in here. That's going to make you sick when you see that, bro. <laughs> That's okay. That's all good. But excellent response. Thank I you. did both of them the same because, in my experience, most flight instructors give you two different ones. Yeah. So just to avoid that uh, anticipation. So take the goggles off. Yeah, I got flight controls. Your controls. I got controls. I can take them if you want, put them uh, back in Sure, the that'll work. Okay. All right, my plane. You got flight controls. I got you a big lake out here. Uh, yeah. Can you figure out where you are and take me to the nearest airport? Well, that is uh, Lake Cumberland, and I'm pretty sure that the airport is going to be off to our left from where we're at. Okay, what airport would that be? Uh, that would be Somerset. Okay. Can you pull up a VOR and tell me what radial we're crossing from a VOR? Any VOR? You want me to go ahead and turn this way? Yeah, or? go ahead and turn that way. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I'm showing traffic. Comanche 582 Papa has left crosswind for three touch and go. Alright, so we're pointed to the London radial. We would actually be off of the reciprocal because we're west of London. So okay. we'd be off like the 274, okay. roughly. All right. Could you also center that needle on from? Uh, yes, I'd just flip that directly to the okay. opposite. And so the 274 would be on top that way. Exactly. Okay, good deal. So we're headed for the Somerset Airport, right? Uh, yep. I don't have it inside at okay. the moment, but... Uh, I think you're going the right way. Yeah. When you get a chance, if you could figure out an estimate for it. Tell me roughly how far you think we are. I don't have it perfectly in sight, but I'm pretty confident that uh, it is over. Can we intercept a radial from the London VOR, fly yeah. to the London VOR, and that way we could track right over the Somerset Airport? Lebanon, traffic, five, five, seven, eight, nine, five, five. Um, Let's see. Yeah. We could set it to, uh, we could set it to kind of where it's broken up here. And we could set it about to the radio that we're on. Uh huh. It's a lot of bad. So, in other down. words, you could just keep that needle centered. Going about 94 degrees into London. And that should cross pretty close to the Somerset Airport, right? I think so. Okay. Why don't we not descend anymore? Let's stop here at 4300. Because uh, uh, I've got other reasons for that. We'll do the okay. altitude work, emergency descent. Although if you were headed towards Somerset, you you know, if you're real confident, you might want to go ahead and start down. This will make it easier. You'll see it a little sooner. And show the traffic. Well, we're just sitting here. Um, can we pick up the Somerset weather? We figure out if the wind is suitable for you. The regional airport. Automated weather observation. One six zero one Zulu weather. Wind zero seven zero at one five gust two two. Visibility one zero. Right down, pretty much right down the window. But okay. Barely. What is that? Zero five runway. Zero five. So okay. Yeah. I'm good with that. All right. So we'll plan on doing our takeoff landings at Somerset. Yeah. All right. And so I, I see we're we're pretty much off our nose at this point. Okay. Okay. And uh, so from here, if we're from, we've got the lake in front of us. Mile and a half, uh, runway one, uh, Danville. And we're, that's right, we're a little bit, probably eight miles, uh, ten miles out, maybe eight miles out. Okay. I don't know if your two to one's going to work now, though, because we're probably going into the wind now, right? So we've probably got a little lower ground speed. Yeah. What kind of a rough estimate would you give us for that? Um, I'd still say with what we've had in the 
I would say that we are, uh, I mean, before, if we were eight miles out, we'd have been four minutes. Uh -huh. I would say in this situation, we're going to be more like six. Okay. To six and a half. Can we start your timer and see how that works and out? I've climbed on you here. This is good. 45, okay. 44, whatever you want to have. No. Doing great. I'll tell you this, even with my CFI, I have a tendency to paddle on myself. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. And, and we notice it anyway. Okay. We see more than we let on. Okay. I'll start checking them off here. Got the hood work done. I got the on course done. Yeah, if this really is Somerset, we'll have the lost procedures done. That'll stay right there. That'll kind of. That's our menu here. So once you're absolutely positively sure that's the airport i'm let's positively just, sure okay let's find a place where you're not interfering with the traffic and maybe have some uh, you know landing spots in the field or something if we need it or even the airport kind of slide over to a good spot and uh, that way you kind of keep the airport in sight but we can do this high altitude stuff too uh so you want me to kind of get it a little bit away from the uh, airport? Oh, let's or? see. If they're using five, you would imagine, right? Yeah. So, so we're on this side. Okay. So the traffic would probably be north of the airport if it's making left turns. So up to you. You might want to consider going over that's on the other I, side yeah, of that's it. That's what yeah. I was thinking. We're not going to go down as low as the traffic pattern anyway until we make that emergency descent. Uh, Do you know what that traffic pattern elevation is just offhand? Or uh, can you look it up for me? I couldn't look it up, but it's uh, not, well, you've got the field elevation is 927, and they generally okay. use, uh, I've been using 2,000, what we're using, but okay. most of the time it's 1,000 feet above. Yeah, 1,900, 2,000, something like that. How far this direction you want to? It's just up to you, Captain. That's why uh, you make the big bucks here. There you go. Make those big decisions. Just uh, far enough to where we'll be out of the traffic pattern and close enough where you can keep the airport in sight so you don't have to go through that again. Now I feel, I think we're good where we're okay. at. If you want to make some kind of clearing turns around, we can look for something maybe out on the horizon that you can use for a reference point for your steep turns. That makes it a little easier than just using a heading sometimes. Uh, I found the farther out you can pick the point, the yeah, yeah, easier it is. It doesn't look like there's uh, not a lot over here to the west. Is yeah, it? I was looking for a good water tower or something. Uh -huh. Most of those pretty two good. I don't see anything that's the best, but I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty confident. Okay, how about the very western edge of the lake there? That sounds great. All right. I can justify the clearing turn being done. Okay. If you're ready to start the first maneuver, it's a steep turns. Okay, I'm ready. So, okay, it's 45 degree bank. Just one to the left, one to the right. And can you show me on your attitude indicator where the 45 degree uh, point no, is? But it's midways between the 30 right. and 60. There really isn't one. Yeah. That'll take the difference. Uh, do you want me to do the first one to the uh, to the left or right? Uh, that's another one of those big decisions. You just got to make okay. that. Okay, all right. So go ahead at my leisure. Yep, at your leisure. All right. Oh. Okay, perfect. There's our lake. Right on altitude. One to the right whenever you're ready. All right.
Copy number star 397 Mike for one mile final, runway three straight in. Let me see. Okay. Um, Almost as good. Most people will have a little more trouble to the right than left for whatever reason. Next on our menu is uh, slow flight. Let's just keep that western end of the lake in sight. Uh, and uh, tell me what speed you guys are practice slow flight at. Uh, most of the time I stay right around 60. Okay. Uh, but there has been times that I've gotten as slow to just barely hear, hear a stall horn. Just pick a number and so, we'll, we'll see how you do on that number. Uh, 60 is what 60 I practice is. the most. Okay. So we're going to go car heat out. Or slow down. on this when you feel like you found that perfect combination of pitch and power let me know and I'll have you make some real shallow bank turns I kind of check your coordination that way to be pretty good at the okay. moment let's just turn left to like south <coughs> maybe uh, maybe 15 degree bank Okay. No specific heading. They just like the 30 degree turn. And then once you're done with that, just roll right back to the lake. Like I said, this is to check your coordination, basically. Okay. Oh, that's good. And back to the lake. Back to the lake. Once we're back to the lake, I'll walk you through the next maneuver, which will be the uh, power off or approach to landing stall. Back, let's use uh, a yeah, little white thing just to the right of the western end of the lake there. Yeah. Kind of on the hill. Let's use that as our reference. Okay. All right. So leave the power, everything set where it is. Let the nose kind of fall. Don't try to maintain altitude anymore. Okay. What we want to do is trim it up for a normal approach. So on about 500 feet per minute down at whatever normal approach speed. You use about, what, 65 normal? Yeah. Okay. What we're trying to do is just simulate a normal VFR type approach. Put the flaps all the way down, all that kind of stuff. Then we'll just ease the power all the way off and ease the nose all the way up until we get the actual buffet, the stall buffet, and recover straight ahead. Uh, okay, so that looks pretty good. 500 down, you're trimmed out at 65. Okay, so just ease the power off, bring the nose up till you feel the buffet. Try to go past the stall warning horn if it, if necessary. Camel County traffic, uh, 278 turning base on two. Okay. All right, nice job. I felt the buffet. Don't forget your carb heat there. Yeah. And we'll just stop at this altitude and this airspeed. I'm going to set you up for the next maneuver which is going to be the uh, power on stall. What we're doing uh, here is we're simulating a stall on departure. So go ahead and clean your flaps up. And what we'll do here is once you get her all cleaned up, we'll pitch up it to rotation speed of 55. Once we're there at 55, we'll smoothly add full power and bring okay, the nose up until we feel the buffet and recover from that. And what I'm looking for in both of these stalls is any tendency for you to pick up a dropped wing with the aileron. Yeah. Santana traffic arrow went on a downwind, 1-1 one, one, Santana. Okay. Okay. Bring the power back to maybe 1500 RPM, something like that. Until we slow to rotation speed. 55. Once we hit 55, RP in, power all the way up smoothly, install straight ahead, power on. Sixty-five. Uh, fifty-five, 55. is rotation. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're just simulating a stall on takeoff. Gotcha. 
Once we get that carb heat power smoothly all the way in. Okay. Very nice recovery. I feel you adding right rudder in the climb. We're right about on our point there. So let's make a 180 and we'll head back to the Somerset Airport. Uh, once we head that way, we'll uh, make an emergency descent down to traffic pattern altitude. We're done with the uh, high altitude stuff. Uh, oh. I'll throw my drop eight. Comanche 582 pop, left crosswind, runway 3 touch go, mountain strong traffic. Cynthiana traffic arrow, base 1 1, Cynthiana. Wayne County, station 335 golf downwind for 3, Wayne County. It's addicting up here, doesn't it? Oh, isn't it a pretty view? <laughs> it is, it's beautiful. That east wind blow us. Away from the airport pretty fast, too. <laughs> yeah. Still find it again, probably. Yeah, can't you? absolutely. Okay. So we've got uh, a few minutes here. We're just cruising along back to the airport just to kind of give you uh, an idea of what we're going to do there. We're going to make an emergency descent down to, say, 1900 or 2000, whatever you want to use. And then we do our specialty landings. You want to start with the short field first or the soft field? Um. Let's start with the soft field. Okay. And we'll just make that to a full stop. Taxi back, and then we'll make the corresponding takeoff, the, sh the soft field takeoff. Uh, and we'll go to the short field. Taxi back, make a short field takeoff. Wayne County, 3 5 golf. You know, there is no soft field checklist. I know. I got the same kind of checklist on my airplane. Notice yeah. that. But why don't you just brief me a little bit, what's the concept of this, the soft field thing? Uh, the concept primarily is uh, if you're making an off-field landing or even a grass field, you're using a field, so uh -huh. you're, you, you're landing on something. That's not uh, as, it's not as strong as concrete, so okay. you don't want the nose to, uh, to, to dig into the ground for any reason. So basically, soft field, soft field. You're, okay want to land as, as lightly as you can uh, and hold the nose wheel off the ground okay. until uh, you know, until it's safe to let it down once you've, uh, if you're coming to a stop really as, as you slow down. Okay. So you didn't get stuck in that mud. Right, right. And so for a takeoff, it's the same thing. You're trying to basically kind of more or less ride a willy to keep that nose okay. out of the mud or grass or whatever okay. uh, until you uh, get off the ground. So we're going to use full uh, full flaps, uh, and we're going to uh, you know hold more or less hold it off uh, hold it off the runway to try to land as light as possible. Okay. And just getting one step ahead of ourselves, the next one will be a soft field takeoff. Can you brief me on that one too? Uh, we're going to uh, use 10 degrees of flaps. And uh, like I said, we're going to hold the nose. Regional traffic, Medivac helicopter, Kentucky 1 is uh, one zero miles to the east, 3,000 feet inbound for landing at the Lake Cumberland Regional Hospital. Somerset area traffic. Guys kind of following us around. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, we're going to uh, use 10 degrees, 10 degrees of flaps. Uh -huh. And keep the, we're going to get the nose wheel. We're going to get airborne as fast as we can get airborne. Okay. So once we get airborne, uh, because we're going to be at such a, a slow speed, we're going to stay in ground effect uh, to keep that lift, accelerate out, and then once we uh, get up to a, a speed that's good enough to climb, then we'll start our climb. Okay. And how would you define ground effect? How high is that typically? Uh, generally, it's the length of the wingspan. Okay, so like 35 feet, something yeah. like that. I think I heard a guy say he was nine miles west of Somerset. I thought he said... But I thought he said east. The helicopter was, but I oh. think I heard another guy as you were talking. Uh, Not sure. Uh, we are, I'm gonna, I don't know how far out we are. I'm going to call it, I mean, we're 12 miles. It sounds good to me. Uh, 
Lake Cumberland traffic, Cessna 734 Mike X-ray is about 12 miles west of the field at uh, 4,500 uh, inbound for landing. There's a couple ways to make this emergency descent. We'll do whatever you've trained. One way is to slow to the white arc, start getting the flaps down, and then you're kind of restricted to staying in the white arc. Push the nose over another. Traffic, helicopter 79 Alpha goes about 10 to the northeast, transitioning to southwest at 3,500 feet, Mount Sterling. Uh, another way, uh, which most people. Traffic, Battle Back Kentucky 1 is now 5 miles to the northeast, uh, descending through 2,400. <laughs> That didn't help us none. No. The other way is just to pull the power off and push the nose over right till the the uh, yellow arc. And then if that doesn't give you enough, as much as you want, uh, just smoothly add full rudder and full opposite aileron. You've done slips before, right? I have. Yeah. Um, the theory is that, that uh, we're simulating we're on fire. So we're trying to lose as much altitude in a short of time. So, uh, we're on a tech ride, but uh, uh -huh. I want to be honest and ask a yeah, question. Sure. You can not answer it if you don't want to no, at no, the moment. But uh, in, my, in my practicing emergency descent, you uh -huh. mentioned using flaps. Uh, I actually hadn't used flaps in emergency descent. That's just one technique. Okay. We so want to do whatever you've trained to do. The, the technique that I've done more or less is to uh, is to pull the power and uh -huh. point the notes towards the ground. That works. Actually, that works a lot better than flaps. Uh, but right. I see both ways. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's my technique: is carburetor heat power all the way yeah. to idle smoothly, and then what I do is I'll maybe even roll into about a 45 degree bank. That way, I'm kind of clearing as I go down. Uh, if that's not enough for me, I'll just Keep that 45 degree bank, but I'll add full opposite rudder, and that puts me into a, a slip like that. Uh, uh, when do you want me to do that? Whenever you're comfortable doing it. Oh, okay. once you got the airport in sight, you got it figured out how you're going to get in there. Yeah, our airport's pretty much off to our nose again here. Okay. Uh, and right now would be a good time, I guess. That way we're uh, not descending. You know. Like uh, wild into the traffic. Do you want me to? You want me to break it off when I feel comfortable, or do, was there a certain altitude you want me to break? Let's it go off? down to traffic pattern elevation. Okay. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. Car beat out. Power. And if you've got a problem with your ears keeping up or something like okay. that. Okay, so now we're making a turn to the right. We could make one back to the left. That's giving us 2,000 feet a minute down, so that's yeah. pretty good. If you wanted more, just smoothly add right rudder all the way to the stop. Keep that left wing down. And keep the nose down where you're all, all the way up to that yellow. So who knows what that is? It's pegged out there. Yeah. Also good for non-instrument rated pilots that get themselves caught on trap top of an overcast. You find the famous sucker hole. Okay, just level at 2,000, we'll call this one done. Hey Zach, that's outside of your uh, crosswind range, is it not? Did you look at the wind component chart? I only gave you like five knots. That's a CFI. Chiding his. Uh, uh, be affirmative. No flying today. His name is Doug. He's up at Mount Sterling. Yeah. He put some restrictions on the solo student, I guess. To the observation one six two four Zulu weather wind zero eight zero at one three gust one seven visibility one zero. Clear below one two thousand temperature two four zero eight zero at one three. Hey, Elizabeth Town, Scott at one one mile forty five left out on zero five E Town. Lake Cumberland traffic uh, for Mike X-ray is about uh, five miles 
uh, west of the field, inbound for landing. Going to enter uh, on a 45 downwind for runway 5, uh, the west side of the field, north side of the field actually. Going to kind of swing. Okay. Do you still have the airport in sight? Um, I can't see it the best, okay. but uh, but it's off. You just know where it is from yeah. previous experience. Yeah, that's a good lesson. Um, you probably know this already, but there's a big difference between being at 4,500 and being at 2,000 as far as what you can pick up visually. Actually, I was a little off on my point and direction. Uh, I go a little further, or straight off about uh, two o'clock or so. Okay. If you had to uh, approximate the crosswind component, what would you guess at it here? Um, at zero eight, because the wind is so bad, yo, know, so strong. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, I would still think that it wouldn't be truly worse than two or three. Uh, two or three two component, or three component. crosswind. Yeah. Okay. Is that? I, you know, I just mine would be a guess too. I'd, I'd say maybe five. Maybe I don't know. five. Yeah. I've got an app for that, but I left my phone there you go. at the airport. And I forgot how to use those charts with the curved lines. I could do that if you gave me half an hour. <laughs> A perfectly smooth yeah. environment. I, I can do them. I'm, I've been old school with my training. That's so good. everything that I've done until, to be honest with you, everything I've done until the last week and a half has all been, uh, you know, E6B spin yeah. the wheel. And That's good. And not only is it good to have that skill, because batteries go dead, yeah. etc., but that gives you an idea of what's reasonable. You know, you you got to get the ballpark anyway. Yeah. You just guess, because you've done it manually so many times. And I'm wanting to, I'm just, I'm staying pretty wide, because I want to get, I'm going to end up having to do pretty much a 180 to enter. Okay. So... And this is all just recommended however you want to enter it, you know? I think the only thing that's written in stone is they do want us to make all turns to the left, like, yeah. you're, like you're doing. Well, my, from my experience already, I get uh, really confused in the air if I'm a student pilot, if somebody calls a, uh, a eight-mile final. Yeah. Or, and right. so I think, generally speaking, uh, you're better off to enter. Uh, yeah, you know, I just don't think you, for me, and I know this isn't really a rule, but uh, I'm not going to call a 10-mile left base. I think that's a great way of doing it. In fact, I heard a guy not too long ago, it was a corporate jet, and they said they're on a 20-mile uh, final. Yeah. And and uh, somebody else on the frequency said, hey, there's no such thing as a 20-mile final. Yeah. Field Resort, Piper Cherokee, November You've got uh, uh, airplanes in a traffic pattern the north, here. Inbound to land on your runway 21 at Deerfield Resort. What's that now? I, this fellow said there's no such thing as a 20 mile oh, final. Oh, yeah. He said okay. you have airplanes in the traffic pattern. Yeah. So it kind of jumped on him a little bit. Yeah. You know? But I kind of see it both ways, you know. Yeah. Just a matter of courtes courtesy, I guess. And, and being where other people expect to see you. That's the, yeah. the whole concept. Well, there's a difference, too, between a 20-mile final for a jet as opposed to a 20-mile final for a Cessna. True. Right. So, right. And and that's another thing is, is as a young student pilot, there's a young know, occasionally uh, certain airplanes that they say what they are, and, and I don't know how fast they're going. Right, right. Can't so, place it yet. Sure. Another uh, potential for a little mistake is that uh, when somebody's new, they, they're they not real sure about which is the base and which is the crosswind. Yeah. So we, I always kind of look at it out of the corner of my eye if somebody says he's on a base. Yeah, maybe he is. Maybe, he's, maybe he thinks he's on a base, but he's really on a downwind. Or maybe he calls 10 miles east. Well, maybe he's really west. You know, people make mistakes. Yeah.
Cumberland traffic for mock X-ray about a mile and a half, two miles uh, northwest of the field. Going to enter the pattern at a 45 downwind uh, for runway five, Lake Cumberland. Cap City traffic, uh, Moody 5766 Yankees, 10 uh, west for landing, runway 7, Capital City. Blowing us, ain't she? Yeah, wind's blowing pretty, pretty good. So we're going to do a uh, soft field. Soft field first. Go All full right. stop and a take off. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 mock X-ray, downwind, runway 5. Full stop, Lake Cumberland. RP. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 mock X-ray, turning left base for runway 5, full stop, Lake Cumberland. Point degrees flaps. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 mock X-ray, turn and final for runway 5, full stop, Lake Cumberland. Absolutely traffic, 5766, Jenkins, 5 miles straight and runway 7. Crosswind kind of affected my, uh, my square turn there. Oh, looks perfect to me. I can see we're grabbing to the right just a little bit to stay right on the center line. I can see the happy off to the right. Red over white looks just right. Made me a little nervous there, sorry. Oh. Okay, real oh. nice. I'll be honest with you, I got thrown off my game a little bit. Oh no, you stayed with right that, with it. Uh, that's, that's fine. That bird made me a little nervous. Yeah, what, what I've doubted about the birds over the years is I yeah. just ignore them. Uh, they'll, they'll get out of your way most of the time. Can we make echo here? What's that? Can we make this turn off? Yeah. Here? Okay. Nice job. Good job. Got a little squirrely there at the end, but you corrected nicely. Yeah. I cracked my window here just for a second. Absolutely. I'm going to. to Lake Cumberland traffic for mock X ray. Uh, clear the runway. Lake Cumberland. Okay, so the soft field part is over uh, uh, on the landing, so we'll just, uh, whenever you want to set up for the soft field takeoff, we'll do that. Tell you what, I think uh, that I have, uh, I think I put that bottle of water behind my uh -huh. feet. You care to take the controls just a minute? Sure, or, or? I can do that. I got the flight controls. Okay, I'm... Uh And you've already briefed me on this soft field takeoff. So we'll make it kind of realistic. So if it suits you, we won't stop. Okay. Kind of check, make sure everything is set to go. Uh, uh, like it really is soft. Go ahead and put it 
Yeah. We're gonna go 10 degrees flaps, we go carb heat. Uh -huh. Cold, uh, we'll be holding the nose wheel back. Uh, like you said, we won't uh, we won't stop because if you stop, you sink or you're more heavy. So right. uh -huh. we'll keep uh, keep going. I think that the wind has even picked up a little speed on the taxi. And <laughs> yeah, it's um, on a day like this, it'll it'll push you right along. Yeah. And you probably noticed uh, uh, flying into a headwind, landing into a strong headwind, your ground speed is much lower. Yeah. So your rate of descent is much lower also. Yeah. I saw you kind of getting on the Vazzy, happy, uh, and then off a little bit, and then back on, kind of making the spine adjustments there. So, uh, and I have a tendency, uh, I have a tendency to sometimes give a little more power. Yeah, well, that was a good thing there. A nice little correction right there at the Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 Mike X-ray, taking runway 5 for departure, Cumberland. The only thing I didn't see you check is your trim. Yeah. But, uh, you got it where you want it, that's good. Smoothly slowed down a little much, but move the power. Those will off. This is the hardest part right here to me, is pushing forward on the yoke. Yeah. We got a pretty positive rate of climb, so okay. we're going to take flaps out. Okay. Nice soft field takeoff. We'll set up for a short field landing next. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 Mike X-ray, turning left, crosswind, runway 5, Lake Cumberland. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 Mike X-ray, turning uh, left downwind, runway 5, Lake Cumberland. That wind caught me off guard. Oh, short field. Yes, sir. And we're going to call, uh, I'll tell you what, with this wind, it might make this a little interesting, but we're going to call the, the end of the numbers. Yeah, just like we talked about. Yep. Okay. Actually, I would kill for a day like this on my check ride. I like a little wind. Oh, really? Yeah, right, especially right down the yeah. runway like that. Well, down the runway makes it a little bit better. It slows things down. Yeah. You can think a little better. Traffic. Skylight 9, 112, Charlie. We're showing six miles to the northeast inbound. Landing runway 5, Somerset traffic. Yeah, right to left downwind. 10 degrees flaps. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 Mach X-ray, turning left base for runway 5, Lake Cumberland. So in traffic, Comanche 5882 pop, there's left downwind 3, touch go. Oh, 20 degrees. And Lake Cumberland traffic, Skyline 12 Charlie, 4 miles to the uh, northeast of the airport, we'll be there, right in the left downwind runway uh, 5, Lake Cumberland. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 mic X-ray, uh, turning final for runway 5, full stop, Lake Cumberland. Channel traffic, 7 9 Alpha Echo, 5 mile left base, 1 2, Danville. And Lake Cumberland traffic, Skyline 1 2, Charlie on a downwind runway 5, Lake Cumberland. And Wayne County traffic, 726 is about uh, 5 miles to the north. Uh, We'll be entering a left down wind for three Wayne County.
I got the traffic inside. You'll be no factor for us. Okay. Ma'am, Wayne County Traffic 726 is in a left downwind for runway 3, full stop, Wayne County. Oh, within inches. Perfect. You can just uh, simulate. Go ahead. Um, or yeah, let's just turn off, but you can simulate the max brakes, is what I was going to say. Oh, well. Because we got to make a short field takeoff. Let's go on down to the taxiway and turn, come back okay. around. Okay. Yeah, we got that guy. He'll be behind us, and we told him we're going to be full stop, so might as well do what we said. Okay. It's enough wind today. We could have just made what they call a stop and go. Yeah. Could have come to a full stop, simulated us like the end of the runway. No sense changing things at the last minute. And Lake Cumberland traffic, Skyline 1 2 Charlie on base runway 5, Lake Cumberland. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 mock X ray, clear the runway. Okay, good job on that. You hit within inches of the top of that uh, five there, exactly where you wanted to be. Yeah. And we could have been stopped within, well, within a thousand feet. Yeah. By more like 600 or so. I, I started to stop like that, but then I thought you were telling me to go on. Yeah. So yeah. I apologize Confused. if I... Uh, no, no problem. No problem. But I should have pre-briefed you as well. We won't romp on the brake. Make it a little easier on yeah. the airplane. Okay. We got a short field takeoff, and then we're out of here. Make a quick stop on the way back to do a turns around a point. Okay. And make one simulated engine failure landing back at London. We're done. This is a 182, a Skylane. Yeah. About like a 172 with just a little bigger engine in it and a constant speed prop. Makes a real good uh, a traveling airplane, put a big load in it. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. And Somerset Unicom, Skyline 1 2 Charlie. Clear the runway first, but. Probably trying to figure out where he's at. Yeah. Well, with this wind, it puts you down in a heartbeat, and that's a long ways down there. Right, right. <laughs> oh. Let me talk to him while you're holding here just a second. Ed. And yeah, one, two, Charlie, you read four mic x ray. Go ahead, four, uh, one, two, Charlie. Yes, sir, I just, you didn't get an answer from uh, Somerset. If you're looking for the FBO, it's off to your right there. Yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've been here and I forgot they moved it over there. No problem. Thanks. Where'd he go to now? Disappeared over the hill. Yeah, I lost yeah, he was just about to turn off the, to the right. Uh, oh. Lake Cumberland traffic, 4 mic X-ray, taking runway 5 for departure, Lake Cumberland. So, uh, short field, we're going to... Short field takeoff, and... Trim the takeoff. Straight home. And we're not going to use any flaps. Okay. So... If this was a true short field, we're going to use every bit of the runway that we can use. Sure, so we'll true. just simulate okay. that. You're about uh, oh. two feet from it. And All you, right. If you'd feel better asking him, you might ask him if he's clear, because we can't really see the far end. Uh, one, two, Charlie's his number. Lake Cumberland, one, two, Charlie, are you clear the runway? His radio's off. Yep. Must be. That must be. Gonna All be right. off well before we hit him anyway. Okay, so we're doing flaps up. Uh -huh. Carb heat's cold. We're gonna have full brakes. Go full power. Release the brakes. 
elevator slightly back. Well, we're going to climb out at 60. Okay, so this rotate. involves the 50 foot obstacle, so I'll call that for you too. There's our 50 foot obstacle. We'll point it back down, get a little speed. I'm out like normal. But with that headwind like that. Yeah, really it, improves the performance, huh? Yeah, it also, I think, gives you a little, uh, I mean, like your uh, airspeed, uh, I think, kind of really jumps really quick. Right, just a little. Uh, Variations. Yeah. So the only thing we got left to do on the way back is uh, find a place to do your choice, either turns around a point or S turns across the road. We'll do the turns around the point. Okay. And if we can find some place where uh, out of these hills where it kind of gives us a place to land in case the engine quits. We'll just do one turn around there and then right back to London. Any way you want to get there. Uh, uh, as far as a clear place, once you know, it's kind of like either here in Somerset or in London, one of those. Right, other. right. So, whichever you want to, you want to go towards London, do it there, or do you want to? Uh, that's one of those captain decisions. You know. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we'll we'll level off here and we'll find us a spot. So. Okay. Uh, Wait before we climb on the way back, because we want to be roughly 800,000 uh, HL. Yeah, uh -huh. So I see some fields out in here. Whatever uh, you want. Uh, do you want me to get a little farther away from the airport? Up, or? up to you. No trick I'll questions. I'll tell you what here. we'll do. We'll uh, climb a little bit. We trim it out. Oh, uh, Lake Cumberland traffic four mock X-ray uh, departing the pattern to the northeast. Lake Cumberland. So. Trying to give us, if you think this is close enough distance. Yeah, uh, I, I think we're out far enough. Especially if we go over these fields out in here. Yeah. We will uh, find a good spot to pick. And after that, we'll climb to whatever altitude you want to on the way back to London. I'll show you one more thing that, to be clear, is not on the check ride or anything like that. But just kind of a curiosity thing for you. Okay. As far as instrument flying goes. Okay. Yeah, I'd like the opportunity to put that hood on on the way back to. Yeah, the we could try that too. So back there's a there's a white barn just kind of all by itself, kind of a small that, white barn. Right there. That kind of stand out to that, you there. Uh, that works. Okay. Oh. Get a little lower here. And the winds were actually still kind of that headwind. at about 1900. Yeah, sounds good to me. The only uh, obstacle I see is this cell tower at about one o'clock, uh, but we shouldn't be out that far. Trying to get a little bit of st stable here. All right. It's gonna be fairly rough because the wind's gonna roll yeah. over these little hills, but that's all right. All right. And that's the, the whole purpose of this maneuver, is just to see that you can have uh, your tension divided between one and the other. Yeah. Got another tower at about 12 o'clock, but we're going to be well inside of that. Once we get back to our original heading, we'll call this done. Comanche Pilot 2 Pop is on long final for three sets to go. Nice job. You've probably never done it this, this much wind before. No, I haven't. Actually, I find it easier. Uh, this maneuver also, because it, that way I can kind of keep track of where the wind is. If yeah. it's real light and variable, I just, you know, I'm kind of guessing all the way around. Okay, good job on that. You still got that tower at about 11 yeah. o'clock there? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely the most wind I've done on that because uh, our... 
our first crosswind turn was about <laughs> right. wasn't even in a turn. Right. <laughs> Straight and level leg there for a while. <laughs> yeah.